All right. Hello. Hello. I'm so glad this shit's working right now. So this is Tom Clancy's End War, and it is pretty damn sweet. It's one of my favorite strategy games of all time. And uh, you can see at the top there that this is a continuous game. Uh, I found a glitch where, well it's not really a glitch, more of an exploit kind of thing. Where if you, basically if you look at one of these chips here, it'll tell you whether you have to defend or attack on the Russians. Because I can. Uh, and if I choose only the defend tags on this map, uh, I'll never win. And also, I'll never lose. So it's just an ongoing actual war. Uh, if you don't do it like this, then uh, you can beat the game in about 14 to 20 turns. And the only other mode in this game is, well, online of course, but that's discontinued. But the only other mode locally is a skirmish, where you get really low level units and it's not really worth it. So instead of doing that nonsense, I decided to do this campaign and I found the exploit and it's pretty awesome. I have a bunch of veteran soldiers and stuff. Let's see if I can enter. Yeah. Loading. And I am using a shitty mic for this because it's worth it. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun. You'll see. But yeah, all my all my units here, you know, they're the same units. They're you kind of get to know their names and stuff. Though I haven't played this game in months, so I don't really know all of these guys yet. Uh, artillery mostly doesn't die at all. So like Maelstrom, Steel Cry, and Firebolt. And a lot of the names are recycled too, um, but I want I got one little lone transport, transport all my soldiers, <clears throat> and yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty damn awesome actually, because there's like a rock paper scissors sort of system in this game where gunships will destroy tanks and tanks will destroy transports and transports will destroy. Uh, riflemen, I believe. Oh no, transports will destroy choppers. So that's that's the whole machine um, aspect. And then riflemen can destroy engineers and also choppers. Um, and engineers can destroy all the vehicles and stuff. So and they're also super good in buildings. But I can I can just show you. Fuck it, it's just doing it live. Not really though. Get some water. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get real fucking into this game because I love it, and I also haven't played it in a while. In the Eastern US, it's, it's it's a good feeling when you've forgotten a bunch of shit about your favorite game because you go back and it feels in almost Western new. Europe, All right, US. so I get to defend on Springfield. Bueno, the enemy is trying to break a hold on this sector. So this is just a straight up battle. There's also conquest type stuff as well. Thierry Dubois. Make this battle like a terrible flashback for him. My strategic plan for this war has been a success. Roger Dubois. Give another victory today, and our ultimate success will be that much closer. That is all. Alright, so for battle, you start out with a shit ton of um, units. You usually start out with about four or five, but here you get seven or eight. And you always want to have the command guy there. But... Let's see. So I definitely want to transport. And I definitely want some tanks in here. I can do fine with these guys. Looks good to me. Yeah. 
This is Tom Clancy's End War, by the way. I don't think you saw the title screen. That's okay. Operation Wolf CP is go. Repeat, is go. Deployment has reached capacity. All, right. All units are ready. It is time to make... Task Group 1, security... Task Group 1, move to Sierra. Oh, actually, Task Group 1, move to Alpha. Uh, unit 4, move to Lima. We move now. And rally point we make a rally point right there. Unit 6, move to rally point. And unit 5, move to Alpha. Move to Alpha for now. And then, um. Not yet. Alright, I'm gonna battle it out. Use, let me use a rookie transport to, uh. Hopefully, protect these engineers who are slow as fuck. Honestly, they are so slow. Uh, they'll probably get their asses kicked, but uh, there's a lot of stock troopers on this, on this field as well that are getting their asses kicked, and they're basically just there to to do specifically that. So that's okay. Pretty in range. Take out them transports. Okay, teaming up. Task group two, move to Lima. And I can tell them to Unit three, upgrade Lima. Air support. Um, unit 7 retreat. We got tanks coming in. Fuck them up. Unit 2 upgrade alpha. Alpha. Yeah, it doesn't know what the fuck I'm saying. Alright, you don't have to go back that far. Holy fuck. Go up just a little bit. Yeah, so this is like a mainland American map. It's like planes or something. We have multiple units ready to deploy. Got some transports coming in. You can artillerize them. Gage these mofos. Oh god. Yes, yes, hello, yes. I'm playing a game and recording right now, woman. Okay. I'll put you on the recording in a second. Unit 9, evacuate. You can make wounded uh, units evacuate so they don't completely die. Though, when they get defeated, they don't die, but there's a small chance that they'll just spontaneously explode. Otherwise, they'll just crash to the ground and uh, they'll be rescued. Kind of like that mission in COD 4. But, anyways. Task group one secure whiskey. 
Artillery fire. On our... Task one, secure whiskey. Yeah, if I know where this artillery is coming from, we're getting blasted on. You get an idea from where it's coming from. Oh, over there. Go fuck him up. Eyes on European army troops. Get Lima. Bodyguard troops engaging hostiles. Look up those artillery over there. Hostile. Airstrike hostile four. Unit 8 moved to Lima. So I played the hell out of this game. And it's awesome and fun. And probably not very relevant, but who cares? I fucking love this game. Oh shit. Alright, here's here's where the real shit comes in. If I can get him to come in. Oh no. Shit. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Unit one retreat. Pull out, pull out. Other engineers in a building. That is that is just as bad as a level three airstrike. Unit 1, move to Unit 9. Go pick him up. I'm gonna get these tanks on, on them. Hopefully they can fire him up. Alright, no worries. Northwest Quadrant. Hostile neutralized. It's fun because the camera is is pretty low on the units, so you can kind of look at them, see how they, how they look. Tanks beat riflemen. It's it's like rock beating scissors somehow. <laughs> Pretty good at getting off the radar every once in a while, but it's not that hard to get. Eyes on enforcer combat engineers. Enemy taking Him get exploded. Get exploded. Those guys up too. Airstrike hostile five. Kablooey. Unit one move to Bravo. Hostile neutralized. Unit one move to Whiskey. Any backup. Unit 8, evacuate. Okay, they're fucked.
I'm gonna send my uh well before you do that. North quadrant. Eyes on Phantom Tanks. Actually stay there, stay there. Across the battlefield. Cover. All right, take cover behind these hay bales. I don't know if a hay bale can stop a bullet. I don't know about that. guys are going. We'll take cover in that forest. I'm gonna ambush. I don't think they can see us either. So my guys are like, they're, well they're two star veterans, but they're like, they're opaque sometimes, and that's just because they got stealth on. They got like, partial camo. I think uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, but and an entire unit that you can control. It's, it's pretty damn awesome. Oh yeah, they are fucked. Take cover right there. Well, no, never mind, never mind. Go in the forest, go in the forest. Snipe. Wait, not yet, not yet. This is actually a pretty damn hard map on Conquest. I had some trouble with this one. Unit 9, attack hostile 1. And you can also use... Um, aggro. You can use aggro in this game. So it, those tanks are super effective against my riflemen. But if I if I engage these guys, they can't kill, you know attack two people at once. So if I could, if I bring in my choppers and attack the tanks, the engineers cannot destroy my choppers. They'll be fighting the riflemen. So it's it's kind of a dynamic kind of experience. Fucking awesome. I'm gonna do I'm gonna storm the building, run in with fucking shotguns, and I'm gonna make this tank attack them. Electronic Warfare Hostile 3. Boom! Fuck them up! Another squad. I dropped on right fucking there. Check center quadrant. Eyes on Europe 
Indian army. This is over. All squad strong. See, there, there guys are coming out of the building, getting picked up. My guys are right there, <laughs> getting picked up. So when they're wounded, you know, there's no side. Which is kind of cool, I guess, in an abstract way. Unit 8, retreat. Oh shit. Nope. These guys, yeah. Take cover, motherfucker. Alright, now attack. And you can attack, you can order to attack again. And it'll take down their shield, it'll kill all the survivors. And now they can't get an evac and save the spot at all. That's good. And dead. And we got these guys over here. Okay, we move. This is the crime. All these running. You can also go to your command. You can fucking let's see. I don't know where they were, are they around here somewhere? Oh yeah, they just them. Okay. I can send a recon drone. So you just shoot the freaking UV UAV drone up. There it goes. It also has some missiles on it too. So that'll go out there, that'll scout the area. I could probably take them out with this. If I can't, then uh, I'm gonna just artillerize them. Re-engage on Hostile 1. Artillery's got it from here, boys. They are fucked. They're just gonna get bombed to shit. I need some reinforcements. Electronic Warfare, Hostile 1. Seven Hostiles remaining. Those are just stock right from there. Alright. So this is DEFCON. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna nuke one of my units. Um so all you can really do is spread everybody out as much as possible. Um all units and buildings immediately die. These guys are in the forest, so they're good. But it so they're about to lose, so they get access to tactical nukes. Which they can use to just destroy me, uh, or try to. And the only way they can really get away with that is if they, um, is if my units are bunched together, which they're not. From what I can tell, Unit 4 has to move, and Unit 6 has to move over here. Affirmative. We move now. And maybe Unit 5 can move. Little bit over. There we go. This is actually really, really good, <coughs> really easy to do on this map. We have multiple units. Unit eight, evacuate. So what the computer's doing? He's just he's just waiting for my units to be grouped up, and as soon as he finds out that, or like, sees that one of my units are next, like too close to the to the other. Uh, he'll set off a nuke and try to destroy as many units as possible in one turn. I think I get access to nukes as well. Well, I don't, but if I'm about to win, I do. Unit 8, evacuate. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> means Unit 3, attack Bravo. <laughs> oh shit.
Are those transports? Okay. Landing zone alpha. All right, just hang in there, boys. I can send my transport over and try to fight. So I think he might have nuked. I think he might have nuked my command center. I mean, I'm trying. Yeah, my right men are down. Holy fuck. Unit 1 evacuate. Yeah, they're getting fucking crazy. Calling all tanks, attack hostile 3. Now my choppers are going to stand by until they engage. As soon as they engage, I'm going to go after those tanks over there. Um, let's see what happens. I'm going to give a, a big old middle fucking finger to these guys. Fuck them up the transports. Tanks are going after the transports. Transports are going after choppers. It's going to be an all-out war about right about now. They're going full speed ahead. These guys are going full speed ahead. Transports aren't going to get there in time. Airstrike hostile 5. Unit 6 attack hostile 1. This shit just hits the fucking fan. Unit 9 evacuate. Fuck. We're really gonna fuck them up. Unit 4 retreat. So there's tanks over there. I'm gonna let my other tanks fight it out. Try to get some some attacks on them. Oh, that's right. It's Took out my goddamn command center. Unit four moved to Lima. Probably move them up a little bit. We have multiple units ready to deploy. This is Walter. Yeah, they're fucked. But they're also rookie recruit choppers too, so they have zero abilities, no defenses, nothing. They just found a chopper in a Walmart and started using it. Well, they're Russian, so it's a risky mark, not a Walmart. Walmart's for Yankee Doodle. Unit 
Unit 5, move to Lima. Lima. So they're gonna fight it out, urban warfare style. Let's see what happens. Get in there. We're gonna have them artillerize it and fucking attack with the tank, because that's the last guy. Last uh, actual unit for the commander, enemy commander. Make everybody attack him. Fuck him. Calling all units, attack hostile six. Yeah, they are fucked. They are seven kinds of fucked. And victory. So that was an all out battle. And this is pretty cool. You get a free camera uh, when it's over, and you can just look at the destruction afterwards. Like, this is. An intact neighborhood, and then we came through and battled over it, and just fucked everything up. Trees are down, houses are destroyed, some houses are completely on fire and just obliterated. And, uh, yeah, it's just cool to, like, see how a battlefield, like, changes like this. Only other game that has stuff like this is freaking Battlefield, and... That, that's a first person shooter. It's cool to have like a like a bigger picture sort of commander sort of feel to it See the burned up tanks Just burned up vehicles everywhere just scorched and uh, Over here is like bomb explosions and uh, Broken barriers and stuff that's all shot up big big stuff and you can actually kind of see no, artillery shells and stuff. And they got freaking obliterated. I mean, there is no chance. That's a pretty cool stop right there. That's beautiful. And yeah. Ugh, fuck. Five units promoted. Nobody died. That was fucking awesome.
am updating strategic display now. Here is how the week turned out. We took a beating in Western Europe. We lost an air base. We had our way on the American front. So this is just a playback of all the AI Russian commanders that did their own battles uh, and whether they won or lost. And it looks like we won every one. So we're fighting against the EU and America because America don't give no fucks about anybody else. And then we got Britain over there that's like still part of the Union because this game was made in whenever. Uh, 2000. Eight, I think it was made. I'm not sure. In the east or yeah, the west. that's that. See me next time and all that. Good stuff.